One more big score, we got enough money to leave. What do you think? Certain to raise the ire of some fans, Red Dead Redemption 2 comes in first, to be mentioned in Hoglaw's 2018 Game of the Year rankings in the number 10 slot. But it weren't us who changed. Rockstar's latest open world magnum opus is nothing if not grand. Grand vistas, grand scale, the grand plans of its characters dashed on the rocky shores of a world unwilling to allow them to come to fruition. Again, and again, and again, and again. What about loyalty? Loyal to what matters. Do as you're goddamn told. It is us or him! While there is little doubt that Red Dead Redemption 2 features fulsomely drawn characters traveling through interesting and meticulously detailed locales, I mean, just look at some of this stuff, its relatively thin narrative plotting, as opposed to its characterization, struggles to support the massive infrastructure upon which the game is built throughout its 60 plus hour running time. In other words, if you thought Breaking Bad's pacing was slow, well, saddle up partner, because Rockstar's got another gear slower to show you. You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. But that's far too negative, and just goes to explain why RDR2 appears this low on the list. Never has a video game world felt more solid, more real, than the world of Red Dead Redemption 2, featuring by far the best graphics we've ever seen. From the mountains to the prairies, from dusty Valentine to the smut and smog of Saint Denis, if you are looking to have your own Westworld virtual tourism experience, Red Dead Redemption 2 is the place for you. Place. Ain't no such thing as civilized. You're the only one of these fools that I trust. And since it features one of my favorite musical scores of the year, you'll be enjoying oral pleasures to go along with the visual. Do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. <laughs> In terms of gameplay, Red Dead is pedestrian, but serviceable. Ride with interesting character to point X. Shoot bad guys at point X, and maybe also at point Y. Ride back with interesting character. Repeat for 60 hours. But that's too reductive. We're more ghosts than people. The real beauty in Red Dead is in the in-between. The sounds of thunder coming over the mountains as the buffalo scatter before you. The look of a stream in the first light of morning as a passenger train passes by. The hustle and bustle of a turn-of-the-century city that feels endless in possibility. Narrative is absolutely important in games, and Red Dead 2 might well have been better off if it cut a 60-hour story down to 20. But that's only half the tale. The world of Red Dead Redemption 2 is the other half. And it is just an absolutely stunning, wonderful, and immersive place to visit. You gotta run and don't look back. This is over. All of which makes Red Dead Redemption 2 a more than worthy inclusion on this list.